Nigeria is a host to a number of South African companies that operate in Nigeria. U.S. President Joe Biden traveled all the way to Angola, Africa, to take a nap. <laughs> he was dozing off while world leaders, African leaders, were having a discussion, a serious discussion. Watch this clip, we'll come back and discuss. To promote shared prosperity and inclusive growth across the region. Internal consultations aiming at aligning this project with national priorities and other bilateral and regional commitments. In closing, allow me to reiterate Tanzania's commitment to regional integration and shared prosperity. We note the progress made on the development of the Robito Corridor and commend the visionary leadership that has brought this initiative to life. And it is through such partnerships and innovations that Africa's Agenda 2063 will be realized. I thank you. Since the establishment of diplomatic relations between Nigeria and South Africa, we see a bright future for our relationship. Our strong bonds of friendship provide a firm foundation for our two countries for more meaningful economic cooperation. Nigeria is a host to a number of South African companies that operate in Nigeria. South Africa has always been open for Nigerian businesses and this has been reflected in a number of investments and operations established in this country as well. But there is much more that we need to do in this regard. We need to remove the remaining constraints to greater investment, just as we need to address some of the challenges that companies experience. We are encouraged by the actions that are being taken under your leadership, Your Excellency. To you should go and check out some of the funny memes and funny comments people are leaving under this post. They were saying how um, if he continues to sleep, it is going to be the best thing for us because, you know, we can do what we need to do without meddling, without interference, without dictatorship. So it's actually really nice that he's falling asleep while we're waking up as a people. It's like a metaphor. That's how they were seeing it. And they're right. They're right. Like U.S., the fact that in the first place they have voted in someone that seems to be really weak and he's an old man so the fact that you know u.s thought like this the way they tell us that they're the biggest economy and they're the top dog you know <laughs> they're up there we're right here that's what they tell us and to see their president in this state and um and even the moves that they've been making recently it, it shows that it, it's not gonna stay the same for long we are going to has these people that have been looking down on us for a long time i think it's time for africa and it shows <laughs> let me show you a little bit of the meeting we'll come back with this common vision joint vision and unfailing will to have a better future for our people thank you thank you mr president president Hishalima of zambia uh, two years ago, during Vice President Harris's visit to Zambia, uh, you helped draw, literally, draw the map uh, and the line for the Greenfield project, for the, the newest part of Phase 2 for uh, the Libido Corridor Rail. Uh, we are very happy that you're here to be able to share some thoughts on how this could really be transformational for, uh, for Zambia. Mr. President. Thank you very much, Amos Moderator. Let me just recognize President Biden and uh, President Lorenzo, our host. Thank you for hosting us. President Shisekedi, um, our neighbor, regional partner, 
uh, Vice President Pango, recognize you, uh, Chief Executive AFC, my dear friend here, and Chief Executive Cobot, uh, our partner in Zambia, and also the CEO, American uh, Corporation. Um, Amos, uh, first, it's, it's my duty really on behalf of the people of Zambia um, to appreciate this initiative, the Lobito Corridor, uh, to thank President uh, Biden uh, for his effort, he, his government, American people, for the recognition of the importance of this corridor and obviously the origination being in Angola here through DRC, through Zambia, the map that we drew in my dingy office in Lusaka when Amos uh, visited and through that connection from uh, uh, from Angola, which we believe will be Ruao, into Kanongesha, um, on to Chingola, and then connecting that, very important, connecting that to the Tazara Corridor, which will really mean that we can connect our continent, this part of Africa, from the west coast in Lobito here where we are, through DRC, Zambia, into Tanzania is a huge, huge opportunity, not just for Zambia, Angola, DRC, Tanzania. Happens that these countries are all Sadi countries. It's good for Sadi. It's good for individual countries. It's good for Sadi. Not just that. It's good for Africa, the Africa free trade area we are talking about with the building blocks of our regional bodies, individual countries, regional bodies, SADC, Eastern. Mining sites like Kolwezi and Likasi, we are trying to establish fluid and strategic connections between our main mining sites like Kolwezi and Likasi and the rail corridor, the, the rail corridor. In parallel, we've put local transformation or processing of our natural resources at the heart of our economic strategy. It is imperative that the wealth contained in our ground contribute directly to the well-being of our peoples. This means that we need to develop industrial uh, value chains locally so we can add value before we export. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.